I'm Dave McGrill. We're getting down to the brass tacks and hard facts of standpipe operations using two and a half inch hose versus inch and three quarter. Okay, it's important for firefighters to understand that what drives the requirements for fire codes in high rise and standpipe equipped buildings is NFPA number 14. NFPA 14 states that buildings that were built prior to 1993 should have a 65 PSI residual pressure at the two topmost outlets or the two most remote outlets with 500 GPM flowing in high rise buildings and other standpipe equipped buildings that are low rise. That's how they flow test a system and that's how a building gets a certificate of occupancy and that's for buildings built before 1993. Based on events in 1991 at the tragic One Meridian Plaza fire, buildings built post-1993 are now required to have 100 PSI at those two topmost outlets or the two most remote outlets. Once again, 100 PSI residual with 500 GPM flowing. Now we flow tested just now and we compared inch and three quarter to two and a half. We used 150 feet as our measurement based on the fact that that's a pretty typical standpipe stretch. 150 feet of inch and three quarter hose with a 15 16 inch smooth bore nozzle compared to 150 feet of two and a half inch hose with a one and an eighth inch smooth bore nozzle. The numbers we came up with are as follows. For the inch and three quarter at 65 PSI at the outlet, we came up with 143 gallons per minute. The inch and three quarter at 100 PSI at the outlet, post 1993, we came up with 178 GPM. For the two and a half, 65 PSI at the outlet, we came up with 255 GPM, and 100 PSI at the outlet, we came up with 315 GPM. I believe it's also important for firefighters to remember, what we're shooting for today in a residential occupancy would be a minimum flow of 150 GPM, and what we're shooting for in a commercial occupancy would be 250 GPM as a minimum flow. This is a training drill that you could do at the company level. Take your pumper out someday and compare inch and three quarter, 150 feet to two and a half at 150 feet. If you have an inline flow meter, that's great. And if you have a pitot gauge, that's even better. You can do your math and you can see the comparison for yourself. The bottom line is there's a reason we recommend two and a half inch hose for standpipe operations. At lower pressures, you're gonna get the flows necessary to develop an effective fire stream and have safety and success.